Hello friends, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing an April and May uh, journal spread in my Agenda 52. This is the same Agenda 52 that I've been using uh, for uh, 2024. And I also have my stickers here. So this is by Maggie Holmes, day-to-day uh, -day, uh, planner stickers and a mixture of some faith-based stickers and so on. So um, I will show a little bit of the stickers that I'm going to be using um beforehand and yeah if you'd like to go ahead and journal with me or um plan with me um you can also take out your stickers or take out whatever you like to use um that inspires you uh to create for that month and yeah and plan ahead anything that makes it easy for you to plan so i just like to take out all these stickers and they just kind of inspire me and you know get me going for the month i think i'm gonna use a lot of the maggie holmes uh stickers uh for both april and may and since i'm um doing my spread i'm pretty much ending april um i just figured i can do april and may together since i'm a little behind on it this month and yeah so i'm just gonna pull out both of these uh, sheets from April and then the May as well just put the book aside here and um I'm gonna think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep these really uh, basic and simple I'm just gonna use this month just these stickers like I said um, and most of them are gonna be from this round trip uh, Maggie Holmes collection for april and a little bit of may i think i'm gonna use both of those and yeah so this month i only had one um market and that was april 13th it was a saturday and which was last weekend and it uh yeah i need to do a video on that as well i haven't got around to it but that will be my next video kind of updating you on how that went and, uh, yeah, so I always like to keep it um, kind of correlating with the theme of what's going on in the month. And um, I kind of mix and match a little bit of everything um, into the spreads. All of these um, stickers all mixed together. A lot of the faith-based stickers, as you can see here and um yeah i also this month um we found we finally found a home that we put an offer in on and this week coming up i'm gonna be flying down there to see the house in person because most of it i saw with my realtor like um through FaceTime, so I'm finally gonna actually be able there to go down there and see it in person, um, and we're gonna go through with the inspections. Hopefully everything is all good, and yeah, and then we'll be moving next month, end of May. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna be using a lot of these traveling stickers, and so forth i really love all of these stickers on here too i end up using a few of these you'll see later on but uh not many for this specific spread for april but um yeah i did want to sign up for a couple more fairs um a couple more markets but it's just been like crazy with the house you know everything that I have to set up now for this house and doing everything so yeah the move and I've been getting rid of a lot of things as well so like every week I've been putting things aside and getting rid of what it like last week I think I got rid of a bunch of clothes and like a lot of kids clothes um this week I got rid of a lot of my clothes and then um some books and like curriculum um things because we had also uh the review like so the 
school review like i had to show the portfolio and everything that we did for the school year and so forth so we, uh, once we did that um and since we're moving i just decided to get rid of a lot of the older curriculum that we were using because we pretty much got finished with most of it so we're gonna finish out the rest of this year um we're gonna take a little break during this move for school and then we'll get right back on track and we're gonna continue doing school throughout the summer as well so like it's kind of all year round we're not gonna really pause since we're doing homeschooling we just do it all year round um I think I've mentioned some of that in my last few um, Plan With Me videos as well, like how I had planned to do the school year all year round. So this will be a little pause just for the move and then we'll get back into it. Um, but yeah, we did everything, all was good. So that was my last review for Maryland. Um... And yeah, we'll be uh, transferring over to our new location, which is going to be in Florida. So we're moving to Florida. And yeah, that's some exciting news, I guess, um, that we're pretty excited about. And yeah, I've been having fun with doing like these little... Um, layers like i like putting the stickers kind of um layered on top of each other one after another so i'm gonna be filling this in a little bit later sometimes i really don't end up getting around to it but i try for the most part to fill in as much as i can when i do have time but um yeah so that's pretty much that um a lot of these are i think this is happy planner um these stickers are from the happy planner uh sticker pack there as you saw and i think i use a few stickers from here as well i think i use like some traveling ones i did want to use um this plain sticker but i ended up using um the one from the maggie holmes collection so, yeah, I think you can also hear Coco in the background. I just gave him a few snacks, but he's still kind of going off. As long as it's not as bad as my last video. I know that was really bad. Uh, a few videos back when I had um, Mickey in the video, and he was super, super loud. Um, but, yeah, hopefully uh, you can hear Coco a little bit. Not too bad. Um but yeah that one it was really bad so i kind of had to kick everyone out of my room to do this voiceover so that uh you know it can be as clear as possible and you can hear what i'm saying because i know some people did complain saying that the bird was like overbearing so uh yeah i know sometimes it happens and i can't do anything about it unfortunately <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, I do like the stickers in this pack as well. This is, um, a wedding pack, but I think I used that for, like, one of my birthday months or something like that. Also, this month is Paige's birthday. So, last month in March, uh, was Paige's birthday, and this month is P Penny's birthday. Um, so, we're planning, well, we're actually celebrating this weekend, um, her birthday is on a Monday, so we'll be celebrating um, this weekend, and then when I get back um, from my trip, then we'll probably celebrate that weekend as well, the following weekend, but yeah, I want to just kind of try to make it as special as possible for her. We're not doing like major big things, but we're going out like on the weekend. We went to like Dave and Buster's and you know, took her out to eat a few places. And we're gonna try to meet up with uh, some of her friends, but like our schedules just aren't um, working out right now. But hopefully, we can meet up with them before we leave, that's for sure. And yeah, 
So uh, for this layout, I did want to add some of the dates and the numbers. Um, and for May, I don't end up doing this, but I do do it for April. And that's just because I just want to remember certain dates. So I just wanted to put that out there um, for planning wise. But, um, oh yeah, on the 18th, the, the number 18 ended up falling on my wrist. It was, I found it on my, um, on my sweater and I ended up putting it on there later on, but I switched them out around a little bit. Um, and yeah, we're just, this month has just been a lot of prepping, um, a lot of decluttering and getting rid of a lot of things. I'm going to try not to take too many things with me. Um, and yeah, we're getting rid of a lot of stuff. I'm still debating on whether or not I'm going to keep the kids um, bunk beds. Because they, they used to have two separate um, like twin beds in the last house. And then I changed it and I got them like a double... Uh, a full size uh, bunk bed so like the top is full and the bottom is also full size and it's really big but um yeah I'm not sure if I'm gonna just end up getting them a whole new bed set when we get there uh right now they're actually they they like to sleep together a lot of the time so I don't know if I'm gonna get something maybe like a loft uh a lofty bed I don't know I'm thinking of different options for them, but yeah, that's what I've been doing, and next, well, I already have planned, um, I scheduled a market in September, um, already out there, so I have that planned, and I'm looking for some more uh, during the summer that I can do but I might just end up taking a break through the summer and then the first one might be in September that I do another market um until then but yeah I think that is it I did already get my tickets for this week and I got a rental and a hotel stay so that's all booked I'm happy I was able to get that done and originally uh, I was looking at this one house it was like really crazy like it was on the market well it was pending for like three months and they said they were accepting backup offers so I reached out to the agent to find out like um if there was a chance and he said yeah that there was a chance that we can put in a, a backup offer for the house um and we went we saw the home it was beautiful and we put the backup offer and then he said okay he'll let us know in a week we waited the week nothing happened then the following week he said okay we'll give it another until next wednesday and nothing happened it was still pending but they didn't decide yet and i guess he said like his client was just like they had enough they just wanted to get it over with the finance was like having an issue with the current uh people of the home that were gonna buy it they were having like some finance issues so i thought there like would have been maybe a chance for us to get it as well like the agent was like making it seem like it was highly like there's a high probability or high chance that we could have got it so i wasn't sure but anyways um they ended up closing like two or three weeks later it took like three and a half months almost for them to close i don't know it was crazy but we uh we're planning to close within uh 30 days so hopefully all goes well with this new house we found um it's in a really nice area so i like the area but i'll find out more when i go this week and i'll uh, fill you in on how that was maybe i'll vlog some of it let me know um if anyone's interested in seeing um any videos on that as well maybe i'll share some of that too on here but yeah uh that's that's pretty much it 
for the most part. Maybe, um, I don't know. We, we, um, my mind is everywhere. I was thinking about a couple different things, but, um, oh, now I'm on to the May spread. <laughs> so, yeah, I finished the April spread now. I just went straight to the May because I wanted to get a head start since I did, I normally like to do the, uh spreads in the beginning of the month but it's already like ending of april so i just figured i put them both together um and again this is just like me picking out stickers of like things that just are drawn to me and things that i'm feeling and thinking about at the moment um and yeah so that's how i go about i'm um, doing my layouts and picking out what i you know, whatever stickers speak to me at the moment, whatever I'm feeling, I go with that. So, um, these stickers like stick really like once you put them down, you can't take them back up. These specific ones, they like they'll start ripping your paper, so <laughs> they're really hard to get back up. Um, but yeah, I was having a hard time there. That's why some of them are like lopsided and I'm just, sometimes I'm like trying to get them perfect. But I'm just like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll just leave it like that. So sorry, you might see some little lopsided and crazy looking. But yeah, let me know in the comments below um, what planner you're working in. I'm always interested in finding out what uh, planners you guys are most interested in at the moment. Like, what are you working in? Um, if you do use a planner or um, do you use your phone, like the calendar on your phone as a planner? Um, I know there's a bunch of digital planners as well, which I was interested in that. But I don't know. I haven't got into the digital planning world yet, but that also looks fun. Um, yeah. So maybe one day in the future, I'll get into digital planning but for now i'm still using uh these these planners um the agenda 52 because i think i got this one on a sale um uh, i think a year or so ago when i did that uh big haul they had and it was a really good sale so i've been using these planners and they've been fun to play around with and the stickers and whatnot um i do also want to get rid of a lot of like i don't want to get rid of all my supplies but i do want to get rid of a lot of the paper because paper weighs so much so i'm thinking of i don't know if i should just donate it locally or maybe do like a sale um here on youtube or uh, maybe do like a raffle on the facebook group i'm not sure yet but I do have a lot of things I do need to get rid of before I move. So, yeah, hopefully I can get that done. But I hope you guys um, are doing well. And, yeah, are having fun with your uh, planners. Let me know how it's coming along as well. You can see that these stickers are like... I loved all of those in the sticker pack. I just wanted to show you. But, um, yeah, I was going back to April to put in this little um, crochet ball. Little knit. Uh, there. And, yeah, I really like the way this came out. All the, the stickers together came out really nice. I like these layouts. They also came, like came together pretty quickly so that was good too um i didn't take too much time on this spread which i really like so i also like this quote what it says um plan the life you love or something like that i thought that was yeah that that sticker kind of spoke to me and yeah i think next i think i don't i think next month i am going to be doing a few more 
of well I might I don't know if I'm gonna someone asked me if I was going to like record the whole uh process of me moving but I'm not sure how that's gonna work um or how long we're gonna even be without internet I'm gonna try to set all that up um fairly quickly but yeah I might be off for a little bit so uh bear with me I would try and get back up and running as soon as possible but um I am gonna try and get out a few more videos before we move I know I did have planned the last event from last week I have all the footage everything is already uh filmed I just need to edit it and upload and then once that's done it'll be um good to go so I can share that one with you next and then I had a few other uh videos planned as well but it would be amazing if you guys can go ahead and like the video and if you really enjoyed and want to stick around you can also subscribe for more um content and videos like this it really helps me out so much um if you can give a thumbs up to the video um that just boosts it in the algorithm and just helps the video uh get seen by more people as well so it really helps my channel grow and yeah i appreciate um all your support and yeah positive uh feedback as well that you've given me so thank you for that as well and next um so yeah next month i do have a few more videos that i do plan on um putting out before we leave so stay tuned for that and again Thank you all for sticking around. I'm going to end up putting some birthdays down there and some other notes um, on the move and what have you. So I'm going to fill all this in. This is We're actually going to be driving down there. Um, so it's going to be Eric is taking his car. Then I'm taking uh, mine. We're going to have the birds, the dogs, kids, everything <laughs> in the car um, driving out there. So I think from here... It's about a 14 hour drive, 13 to 14 hour drive, roughly. So we will be taking a stop in between somewhere and then uh, the next day continue uh, the trip. And yeah, so it's going to be like a little road trip and whatnot. And yeah, I think I really, really like the way these both came out like i said they came together really quickly i enjoyed this uh simple but very nice <laughs> um and then this one just says celebrate every victory regardless of if we didn't get the other home that we originally was looking at i think we're, we're gonna be really really happy with this new home and um yeah i just feel very blessed and grateful and thankful that the lord has given us um this opportunity to finally purchase a home because it's been a very long time coming um we have tried to purchase a few times and i've got cold feet uh numerous times and we just backed out of it and i really regret it so if you're um in that predicament where you're thinking should you buy now or later definitely buy as soon as possible um yeah it's just the market isn't getting any better and everything has just gone up and i remember when we originally was looking to purchase the um everything was just like so much cheaper then but we thought it was so expensive at the time and now things have just gotten crazier so uh when we first were looking the interest rates were i think about three to four which was super low and this was back in i think 2015 and yeah here we are in 2024 and now we're about seven oh my god like seven to eight interest rates but thankfully you know everything is looking good and we're finally going to purchase i'm so happy about this and yeah stay tuned for more i hope you guys enjoyed the layout 
and i would love to see some of your layouts as well if you want to share them with me you can tag me on tiktok instagram or uh you can send me an email as well all my information is in the description box below but i hope you guys have a blessed uh week and few months ahead and the month of april and may and yeah have a blessed uh summer upcoming summer as well so i will probably may june hopefully i can uh get back and running and have my june um june set up and if i don't then i'll do june and july together the way i just did uh april and may but hopefully i'll be back in june uh to do another one of these uh plan with me videos or just plans planner setups but yeah thanks again like i said i appreciate it so much and yeah looking forward to more future videos um and yeah let me know too what you guys would like to see from me like what type of videos would you like to see um and yeah just Stay blessed, friends. Thanks again, and I will see you soon in another video. Take care. Thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe.